Good morning, I'm Claire Milverton, CEO here at One Spatial, and I'd like to welcome you to the final day of our Smarter Data, Smarter World conference. Throughout this week, we have focused on how we as a company and our customers are striving to make the world more sustainable, safer, and smarter for the future. The criticality of reliable data and digitization in achieving this mission has been even more highlighted by the unprecedented circumstances the world has recently found itself in. This week, we have seen some inspiring presentations and heard from many industry thought leaders, and today is no different. In just a moment, I will hand over to Jess Hampton, our Head of Utilities, who will be hosting today's event. First, I would like to thank those of you returning to our conference for your continued support, and once again, welcome those of you who are attending for the first time. I would also like to congratulate you all on the massive amount of resilience the utilities industry has shown this year in particular. Thank you for being part of our first digital conference, and we hope you enjoyed today's event. So, over to you, Jess. Thanks, Claire. And once again, thank you to you all for taking your time out of today to join us here online. As Claire mentioned, the past 12 months has been a bit of a challenge and we've seen a lot of change. For One Spatial, for our industry, for your businesses, and on top of that, we've had all had to deal with a great deal of personal change as well. We've been thrown into a world where planning requires a plan A, plan B, plan C, and the rest. Even for today's event, plan A was our usual in-person event, Plan B, we moved online, but our team would be in our Cambridge office. Plan C was when Sheffield entered tier three, so I would be presenting from home. And then finally, plan, B, plan D, when we entered the national lockdown. Thankfully for One Spatial, we've been fortunate enough to experience a year of growth. A growing team with the lovely Karen joining Tom and I. A growing number of products and solutions and a growing customer base. For the industry, we've seen some expected change, some positive change, and some necessary change. Yet we've seen you all rising to the challenge. We've talked about network resilience for years, but this year has also shown true personal resilience. Despite screaming kids, cats and dogs joining in on meetings, and various technical issues, there's been a real desire to get the job done. For me personally, I have been really fortunate not to have been badly impacted by COVID. However, when I was thinking about the message I wanted to get across today, it struck me that there was some correlation between my personal life and the utilities industry. I'm not quite sure what that says about my personal life, but hey, it's 2020. You may have noticed that I'm not quite as well put together as I look in the event headshot. That's because it's taken from the makeup trial for my wedding day. For those of you who don't know, that was supposed to be back in May this year. I had every single detail of that wedding planned. The music, centerpieces, the orders of service, even what was going in the little refreshment boxes in the toilets. I had planned for every single eventuality. Rain, cloud, too hot, too cold, and various numbers of guests. But COVID forced us to do things differently and the priorities completely changed. All of my over planning and over worrying in trying to micromanage the situation was a complete waste of energy. For utilities, a highly risk adverse industry, if someone had proposed all staff who were able to should work from home, I can't imagine the amount of barriers raised and the number of business change processes that would have been required. The ability to meticulously plan was taken away from us. And you did it. Our businesses carried on and in fact, they thrived. This teaches us a huge lesson and provides an opportunity for change. Yes, there are very good reasons why utilities need to carefully manage risk, but managing risk 
doesn't mean not doing it at all or taking years to change. We are at a pivotal moment in time where utilities are transforming into digital companies. IoT, cloud, data sharing, digital twins, 3D, even 4D, machine learning, AR, VR. These are all technologies turned buzzwords that have been around for years. It was 2006, 14 years ago, when Amazon first entered the market as a major cloud provider. Yet how many of us have cloud migrations in our roadmap for the current or next price control period? The next five years need to be game changing for the utility sector. And we've already seen massive strides being taken with initiatives such as the National Underground Asset Register, migrations to next generation technologies and new data models. This presents a wealth of opportunity for the industry, but of, all, of course, it also presents even more challenges. The good thing about being slightly risk adverse is that it usually means other companies have already done it, whether that be other utilities or other industries. Today, we'll hear from some amazing speakers, including Seb Lesware, one spatial CTO on how to approach these technology trends. Liam Kelly from NGN on how NGN have put data and digitalization at the forefront of their business strategy. Clive Sermon Wells and Angela McCosker from Northumbrian Water on their systems thinking approach and the success they've had in innovating despite COVID-19. And last but not least, our very own Tom McKenna, who will demonstrate why automation and data governments is crucial to create a safer, smarter and more sustainable utilities industry. We also have Karen, who will be our MC for today and running our Q&A sessions. At the end of each presenting block, our presenters will join us live on stage and answer some of the questions submitted through the Q&A panel over on your right. As Lucy mentioned, we'll also have some of the One Spatial team and our guest speakers in the breakout lounges during the breaks and after today's presentations, if you want to discuss any of, our, of today's topics in more detail. Before I introduce you to our keynote speaker for today, I would like to thank you once again for your continued support of One Spatial and for being here with us today. I really hope you enjoy today's event as it's our way of giving back to you. As I said earlier, we believe there is a mass of learning to be taken from other industries. With Sir David Brailsford transforming British cycling with the theory of marginal gains, and going on to found Team Sky Cycling, now operating as Team INEOS, he has some of the most talented people in the world working for him, some of whom are focused purely on data and innovation. There aren't many more qualified people to talk to us about the impact data can have on performance than today's keynote speaker. It is my pleasure to introduce Paul Barrett, Head of Performance, Support and Innovation at Team INEOS, live to the stage. <laughs> 